Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. My name is Boitumelo Mukwena, and welcome to the STEM Digital School for Social Sciences, Grade 5. Okay, so we are still doing our revision, but today we are on history. Okay, we are on history. On Monday and Tuesday, we did geography okay we did geography i believe you guys are ready for the geography paper i have set your paper already it is not that difficult but you need to study okay it's gonna be an easy paper you should not worry about it and then everything will be fine we have Bulelua. Bulelua, your hand is up Good morning, ma'am. Morning, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, ma'am. I'm okay. Ma'am, um, I this is my first time here, so I'm not sure. Um, it is your first time. Yes. Um, Okay, you know what you can do now? You can go to YouTube, right? Yes. And then you search grade five social science term one revision. You will find uh, the geography oh, okay. slides there. And the lesson will be there. Okay. okay yes, ma'am. But on Friday, I'm going to give you guys a more informative uh, scope on things to focus on, okay? Yes, ma'am. Very much, Thank you. You're Welcome, Adams. Hello, ma'am. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. Hello, ma'am. I just wanted to say I'm also new to the class, and I and my Okay. 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 Okay, let's quickly do this. Um, you know what we can do? Let's finish this before I brush everything. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, let's quickly do the lesson so that other kids can learn as well. So today we will be focusing on finding out about hunter gatherers and hunters gatherers and headers. Okay, who can tell me about the hunters gatherers and headers? Uh, who can tell me about the hunters gatherers and headers? We have faith. Talia? Talia? Um, morning, ma'am. Morning, how are you? Good, and you? I'm good. So hunter-gatherers are people who lived long ago. Yes. That's true. Thank you very much, Faith. Ah, uh, excuse. Yes. Faith, get up. I can't hear you. Come close to your mic. Ma'am, the hunter 
is that the people who live um, years ago. Yes, the, the people who lived years ago. Thank you very much, Faith. Adams? Hello, ma'am. The so, hunter-gatherers um, loved off the environment, and they also loved during the Stone Age. They used to um, eat food. They used to hunt for food, small animals, and some of the men caught fish in the river and some of the women walked home some of the women walked home together and made food the together they got food from water the environment and they did also um grow crops fantastic thank you very much okay uh, let's quickly move to the our lesson of the day so four things you need to know about this lesson is that it is a revision you guys have already touched this in term one so by the end of the lesson you should know uh, you should be able to discover ways hunters gatherers and headers lived okay a long time ago okay you should know how the hunters gatherers and headers lived a long time ago it is a discussion obviously you talk to me i talk to you back okay nice one okay so hunter gatherers have lived in southern africa for thousand years ago okay they have lived in southern africa thousand years ago they were the first people to live here did you get that they were the first what they were the first people to live here before the african farmers which you learned about them in grade four okay they were the first people to live in south africa okay and people from europe so the first african farmers and the european people found the who the hunters gatherers okay here in southern africa so they were the first people to set foot in this country okay so later headers or pastoralists moved down through africa okay to the same area where the hunters gatherers were okay so later uh, headers or pastoralists which you have learned about them in grade four moved down through africa okay to the same area where the hunters gatherers lived okay and then hunters gatherers and headers lived in south africa long before there were books before they were cameras before they were computers or internet even writing had not yet been invented okay so when the the hunters gatherers and headers lived here in south africa there were no books there were no cameras there were no computers internet or writings okay so unlike how we are living today we have cameras we can capture in every moment we can write about the things that are happening during the time of the hunters gatherers those things were not there okay meaning there were no people who were writing there were no people who were taking pictures there were no computers no internet people were not were unable to research on the internet and then even writing had not yet been invented okay uh i see participant uh so many participants i don't know what's up uh, if you have a question, please write on the group chat so I can see what's up. Okay. To avoid unmuting people who forgot to go down. Uh, lived in South Africa long before there were books, okay, cameras, computers, internet. Okay. So Okay, so since the hunters gatherers lived in South Africa before there were books, cameras, computers, and internet, 
How can we find out about those people who leave such a long time? How are we gonna know how did these people leave like? Who can tell me? How are we gonna know the way of life of uh, hunters and gatherers? We have Maliku. Hi, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Hi, ma'am. Ma'am? No? I was, I was, I was <coughs> like today, ma'am. Come again. Ma'am, I don't understand. Does it say that the gatherers had lived in southern Africa for thousands of years? They were the first people to live here before African farmers and people from Europe. Later, hunters or despots moved down through Africa to the same area where the hunter-gatherers were. Hunter-gatherers and hunters lived in the same in, in South Africa long before there was books, cameras, computers, or the internet. Even Writing had to be had not yet been invented. How can we find out about these people who love in love such long time ago? Yes, what's your question? Yes, ma'am. It says I don't understand this one. And the gatherers and hunters are loved in the in the insane in South Africa long before they well, books and cameras and all that stuff. Yes, during the time that the, the hunters, gatherers, and headers were living in South Africa, there were no books to read, there were no cameras, there were no computers, there were no internet. There was actually, they were living in bushes. So they were not developed like we are developed today. Do you understand? So they lived a different life than we are living today because today we have books, we have cameras, we have the internet. But to them, they didn't have all those things the time they were living. They were just living an ordinary life. Do you understand? Okay, let's continue. Uh, who wants to answer the question there? Uh, how can we find out about these people who lived such a long time, even though there were no books, cameras, computers, and internet? How can we find out about those people? Uh, I'm gonna get uh, who? Karina. Hello, ma'am. Hi. How are you? I'm okay, and yourself? Fine, thank you. Now, um, I want to, I want to answer the question. I just want to get one thing here. Um, okay. When you said the hunter-gatherers uh, have lived in Southern Africa for thousands of years, right? Yes. And then you said they were the first people to live here. And then that I under, I sort of understand. And then before African farmers and people from Europe. So I want to know what the people of Europe have to do with um, like um, before living here. Like weren't there like Americans who came or Come like again? something like that? What? W weren't they like Americans? Weren't they like Americans there? The European people. Yeah, because I don't know what, why they came to Southern Africa. Oh, why are the European people, the dead people, to come to South Africa? Yeah, because like African farmers and all that. Let me explain it to you. The, in, uh, okay, in grade six, we learning about the Renaissance period, we are learning about the Renaissance period whereby uh, the European people wanted to explore the world during the Renaissance 
period name. So they went to all visited all the countries. Okay. Were Around, they like archaeologists? No, 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 no. They okay. they wanted they visited all the uh, countries in the world for trading and making businesses there. So they arrived okay. in South Africa after they found the hunters gatherers here okay. in South Africa. Yes, and then they started staying here, uh, believing that uh, South Africa doesn't have history, so they wanted to take over South okay. Africa. Do you understand? Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh. Bulelwa. Morning, ma'am. Morning. Ma'am, I just wanted to ask. Okay. Ma'am, so what I don't understand is, um, no, ma'am, your question was, um, how how would we find out um, about the hunter gatherers? Yes, yes. Ma'am, so I think we would find out about the hunter gatherers over the internet. Okay. We can Google it, watch things about it. Okay. Uh, my question is, okay, how can we find out about those people who lived a long time ago since there were no cameras, no internet, except now that other people have went, have done their research in, in, look, in looking about uh, how these people were living. So uh, imagine if you were a historian, studying about the hunter gatherers okay and okay. the headers and then you don't know anything about them okay you are studying about them during their lifetime there were no cameras no books you don't know anything about them how will you find out about these people because they didn't capture their moment they didn't write about them oh Okay, ma'am. Um, okay, cool. Um, okay, let's move to the, you have an answer? No, ma'am. Okay, cool. Uh, somebody on the group, Talia says, uh, we can find out about them uh, by stories and then painting and object, which is true. We, we can find out about the lives of these people by stories okay people will tell us stories about these people paintings so since they were no writings during that time those people painted things um in the mountains okay they painted things and then we can find out about how they were living based on their paintings and the objects that they left in their places okay that's how we can find out about them okay let me get another participant here they led to yes. from the mountain and find some foods and find like the same people long ago maybe knew that to come and see how they live. Yeah. So they they, they painted they put it on the rocks so that as people live with us in this um day, we can see what was their, their life long ago. Yes, thank you, Leletu. Thank you so much for telling us the answer. Okay, yes, Leletu is correct. We have we have Akila. Akila, can you say something? Um, yeah. is it, I think I know what the difference, um, we get the information of, to get, um, to figure out what happened long, long time ago, um, archaeologists, um, the meaning of it is a person who studies people who lived long ago by looking at the things that they left behind, for example, um, things that they buried in the ground, like, um, ostrich shells, ostrich shells that they buried or left a long time ago. 
and they and they also made rock rock um stone stone art, and they yes. made stone age um, um tools. Yes, fantastic. That's correct. That's mostly correct. Thank you, thank you, Akila. Tafika. Tafika. Okay. Uh, seems like we can't get hold of Tafiga. All right, um, Tafiga, okay, re wrote in the group that we find out about them through pictures and objects that archaeologists studied. Yes, that's correct. Thank you very much. The archaeologists went to do research in the places where they were living, okay? Thank you very much, guys. Uh, let's move. I think we won't be able to even finish the lesson. We are already late, but it is okay. If we have to repeat it tomorrow, we are going to repeat it so that you guys can understand better. Okay, so now we are going to look at the important events. Who can tell me what uh what are ancestors ancestors have you ever heard of the word ancestor okay uh and then, we have um, ancestors yes? are like people who came before you in your family like long 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 like when the sand hunters and gatherers um like live those are your ancestors fantastic thank you very much makia thank you Yes, those are ancestors. Okay, it's, it's straightforward. Uh, we have generation. Who can tell me what are generations? When we talk about this is a generation, what can you? What is a generation? Faith. Mom? Yes. Generation is like more like the future. Generation, the future. I can't hear you. Come close to your mic. Man, generation is more like the future. It's more like the future. Yes. Thank you very much, Miguel. Okay. Um. Okay. Number one, ancestors, our relatives who lived along time ago okay these are our relatives who lived a long time ago some of them they are even dead okay they've lived a long time ago who can tell me what are headers headers uh Yes, Faith. A people who live by Okay, I can't hear you very well. Yes. A person who lived by keeping livestock. Thank you, Faith. Okay. Um, nice. So, sisters are our relatives who lived a long time ago. Generation, a group of people of small age. Okay. Okay, and then we have headers are people who move around from place to place with their animals. Okay, with their animals. Nice one. Hunters gatherers. What are hunters gatherers? Ma'am? Yes? Oh, sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, hunter gatherers are um, 
Um, it's when the men hunt for game and meat, and when the ladies gather, um, when they gather, they gather crops and everything like Fantastic. that. Fantastic. Thank you, Buleloa. Ma'am, my name. Oh, Bulela. I write your name on the group chat. Uh, I'm going to get it there. Okay. So, a people who lived who live from hunting animals and collecting wild food. Okay. They live uh, from hunting animals and collecting wild food. Fantastic. So, um, the sun and the koi koi. Okay. So now we are going to be looking at the sun and the koi koi. Who can give me the differences between the sun and the koi koi? What is their difference? The differences between the, the sun and the koi koi. The differences between, okay, we have Karina. Okay, uh, Talia. Talia. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Um, the sun. The sun um um hunted for game, and the. The koi koi is kept um la um crow kept um cows and sheep and were farming. Yes, thank you very much, my girl. We have Bulelwa. Yes, ma'am. So, ma'am, um, the sun, they hunted game yes. and meat, but instead the koi koi kept all of that. They didn't kill it and all. They kept their livestock. Fantastic. Instead you, of killing you, it. You were telling me about your name? Oh, ma'am, my name is Luanda. I'm just using my mom's name on here. Okay, Luanda, no problem. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Sure. Thank you. Uh, we have Ad uh, Adams. Akila. ma'am. Yes, Akila. Hi, um, the I think the oh the the hunter gatherers hunted for meat and um and the koi koi um and the koi koi um kept the animals like as far as farmers and looked after them fantastic you want to add more no ma'am thank you very much your answer is correct very much correct uh who else are we having okay on the group chat uh okay nobody's saying anything okay yeah tafika says the sun um uh, did not keep game and the sun okay did not keep game yes and do not grow crops yes they did not keep game and did not grow crops let's find out on their differences okay you should know them because they might come during the exam the test i might ask you to write a paragraph about the differences between the koi and the sun so the sun lived faith your hand is up Faith? Okay, cool. Um, the sun lived by hunting animals. Okay, they lived by hunting animals. They lived by hunting animals and collecting vegetables and fruit. They lived by hunting animals and collecting wild vegetables. 
and the koi koi lived uh, from animals. Okay, Th that is they are different. We can therefore find out about the sun and the koi from what stories from the stories that they will tell us from objects from pictures from uh writings okay so these are the three uh ways where we can find about the history of these people who lived a long stories pictures and writings fantastic then now who can tell me uh, as you can see here this man here is telling these kids stories okay how can stories help us to find out the way of life of the Khoisan people we have uh, Akila 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 Hello, ma'am. Um, yeah. A story can help you remember. Um, a story can help you remember if you listen very carefully, and you can get a, a exciting, a exciting picture in your brain that you'll remember forever. Yes, fantastic. That's correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Akila. Uh, we have uh, Shongwane. Hello, how are you, Master? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm okay. I'm fine, thanks, and you, ma'am. I'm okay, Master. Yes. I just wanted to ask a question, ma'am. Can you please speak softer? Softer. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm gonna speak softer. Am I softer now? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We have faith. Faith? Yes? I didn't hear the question. You didn't see what? I didn't hear the question. I'm asking how can stories, stories help us to find out the way of life for the people who lived a long time ago? Did you hear it now? Okay, Faith. Uh, we have Luanda. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. ma'am, we can find out um out um about the sand up uh, um about the hunters if we listen carefully to the stories and understand it well if we, then that could give us uh, an image of what they're talking about in the story and who will be telling the stories the people um from long ago ma'am yes they will be telling us stories okay thank you very much and luanda okay on the group chat do we have people who are saying anything um uh, Okay, um, seems like I'm having connection connectivity problems. That's why I'm breaking, but I hope everything will be sorted. Okay, so let's move. Can you guys hear me? If you are hearing me properly, please write on the group chat, say yes, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, okay, okay. Everybody says they can hear me. Nice one. So, stories. Okay, how does stories help us to find out about people who lived a long time ago? So, Luanda already told us, unless there are other people who wants to add, unless there are other people who wants to add on how stories help us to find out about people who lived a long time ago. Okay, so nobody wants to add. Okay, cool, no problem. So, I'm going to tell you. Um, 
people tell us stories about our ancestors who lived a long time ago okay so people who lived a long time ago can tell us stories about our ancestors on how they used to live okay on how they used to live and then stories are passed down from one generation to another okay so if uh, for an example as we are seeing this man telling these two kids here when they grow up they are also going to tell their children the very same thing okay so just like me i'm telling you stories about the hunters gatherers so when you grow up you are also going to tell other people so we will be passing it from generation to another okay that's how we tend to learn about the stories of the people who lived a long time ago because myself i i also don't know okay i don't know how they were living i, on, I was only told how they were living so this, their stories were passed down to me and now i'm passing them down to you so that's how it works okay and then uh the stories your grandmother tells may be hundred uh, hundred of years old okay sometimes our grandmothers tell us stories which are hundred years old just like me i'm not a grandmother though but i'm a teacher i'm telling you stories that happened a long time ago i have studied about them okay so i'm telling you the stories that happened a hundred years ago so that you can also learn about the things that happened a long time ago how people were living and then their way of lives the things that they did the the food that they eat the animals that they hunted okay so now um another way of finding information for the people for the hunters gatherers is by by looking at objects uh who can tell me how does objects help us to find out the history of the hunters gatherers and headers Who can tell me? Anyone? Okay, we have Akila. Hello, ma'am. Um, you can learn from. You can learn from objects up from long time ago by. Um, really looking at them closely and looking at storybooks and stuff and seeing what the hunter gatherers yes. did with it. Fantastic. That's true. We have Lissedi. Ma'am, you can use yeah. the object, objects to find out what the hunter gatherers did with them and seeing what you can do with them right now and yes, see what their use was yes and see they are used fantastic uh thank you very much makia uh leletu ma'am yes for me i me i say what um people who have died i could have tried and maybe went to a museum ma'am and discovered it in the books and saw that oh this is the same and they could use it and see how um the sun used it long ago start again come again ma'am yes oh i say ma'am me um um people could take the things that they found on the ground and they could go to a museum and look at the book and see that they are the same and then they could use them and see how they, the same people were using them for. Yes, fantastic. You find some of the objects uh, for the hunters, gatherers and herders in museums. Okay, they are there in the museums uh they tell us how these people 
were using these things many years ago okay and then we have um faith yes Come again. Mike. Ma'am, you can see all uh, what the sand left out, like the sea and the spade, like how the archaeologists did. Yes, fantastic. That's correct. Thank you very much. Mm, guys, we are running out of time and we didn't finish our lesson because uh, we were discussing a lot. Okay, so we can learn about uh, people from objects, okay? The things they left behind. So these are the things they left behind and then such as their broken pots and tone, uh, stone tools, okay? Such as their broken pots and stone tools, okay? Over time, objects become buried in the soil. So over time, ob these objects which are left in the bushes, they become buried in the soil. So scientists look for old object buried in the soil, okay? The object that they found are the clues them to work uh, a long time ago okay so these objects that you are seeing here this object helped um, a scientist archaeologist on how to find out about how these people were living a long time ago so um, i'm afraid our lesson is going to end here and tomorrow I'm we are going to continue with the rock paintings and then we we'll also observing the living societies. Okay, so this is the end of the lesson, guys. Um, we will continue about it tomorrow. Okay, so don't forget our test date. It's on the 22nd of July. Okay, for geography, we are writing on the 24th. For those who are not here on Monday, Tuesday, I'm going to add more slides on this one, okay? We will do a revision for Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday as well, okay? It's okay, guys. I got you. Uh -huh. Okay, Um, we have Akila. Akila, have a question? Yes, Akila, can you hear me? I just wanted to ask, Um, are we going, are you going to, um, can we also write, um, like when we go into, when we go into our, to see the, this video again, ma'am, can we, can we rewrite, because I missed a lot of the writing because it was, because I didn't, because I was busy writing and I, no. ma'am, so then can we write it, can we go back to the video and write it again, the work? Uh, the work that you didn't do? Yes. Okay, so this will be our first uh, formal assessment, okay? So you didn't miss a lot. We only wrote, uh, discuss activities during uh, our classes, but it's okay. I'm going to update you now. Here is my email. Please send me an email here on this one. Okay, you got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. on to me, 96mukwena at gmail.com. Send me an email. I'm going to fill you in. Okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. We have... Luanda, Luanda, up. You are last. Ma'am, um, ma I wanted to ask, we're not going to have any homework or anything like that. Okay, go, go guys, and research about... The, uh, how can we find out about the people who lived a long time ago since we didn't end the lesson, okay? Go study about them. We'll discuss tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Do that. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, stay sanitized so much. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am.